It's no secret by now that the Oryx Buffalo's pitching lab produces some of the best arms in all of Japan. There were practically no weak links in their entire staff last year, as Yoshinobu Yamamoto was the undisputed number one pitcher in Japan for the second consecutive year, Hiroya Miyagi and Taisuke Yamaoka were good enough to be considered an ace on most other teams, Daiki Tajima had a career year, and the late inning trio of Soichiro Yamazaki, Yuki Udagawa, and Jacob Wagaspak became truly unhittable at the end of the season, propelling Oryx to their first Japan Series title since 1996. And so far this season, they're replicating much of their success. But what really sets Oryx apart from their competition is the sheer depth in the pitching department as they started the 2023 campaign with nine different starting pitchers in their first nine games, effectively giving them a nine-man starting rotation. Now, a big reason for that was because Yamamoto and Miyagi had delayed debuts due to the World Baseball Classic, but still, no other team could deploy nine starters right out the gates, and that didn't even include Ren Mukunoki, who almost threw a no-hitter in his first career start last season, but is out for the year with Tommy John. So if you only have one thing to take away from this video, it should be that the Buffaloes know what they're doing when it comes to pitching development. But the main topic today is a guy that made his MPB debut as the opening day starter for the Buffaloes in 2023 and currently has the lowest ERA in MPB. His name is Shunpeita Yamashita. At just 20 years old, Yamashita is already blowing his opponents away. With a 1.11 ERA, 0.92 whip, 1.86 FIP, 177 batting average against, 28.9% strikeout rate, and 2.1 wins above replacement in 48 and two thirds innings. He's had at least a strikeout per inning in seven of his eight starts thus far, and he's held the opposition to one or fewer runs in six of those outings. He not only has the second highest average fastball velo in MPB among starters at 96 miles per hour, but he also commands the ball incredibly well, as he's pounding the strike zone at the second highest rate among starters, and has only walked 7.4% of batters and allowed just one home run all season. So those are some of his raw numbers, but what makes Yamashita so good? Well, the aforementioned fastball plays a big role. He relies on it 60% of the time, and only Roki Sasaki throws harder than him. Plus, he goes against traditional MPB pitching philosophy by exploiting the top of the zone, especially against left-handed hitters. Obviously, in MLB with the launch angle revolution, most power pitchers throw high to make it as difficult as possible for the batter to drive the ball in the air. But in Japan, pitchers are almost always taught to throw low to keep the ball on the ground. Now, the high versus low debate got even more traction recently as Trevor Bauer struggled in his first few starts, leaving many pundits believing that you cannot succeed in MPB as a high ball pitcher. Now, I'm not a pitching coach, so I can't definitively say that that's wrong, but I think Yamashita is living proof that high ball pitchers can dominate with the right arsenal and game plan. Yamashita is masterful at getting ahead of the count with high fastballs and then putting batters away with low breaking balls. He couples his fastball with a 12-6 curve that was his go-to weapon since high school and a fork ball that he learned after becoming a pro. He only throws the fork around 10% of the time, but it's actually his best pitch in terms of whiff rate at 25.6%, and it accounts for almost 30% of all his strikeouts. But his main put-away pitch is still the curveball, which he throws about 30% of the time and accounts for almost 44% of all punch-outs. I think what really makes his combination of pitches devastating, though, is the discrepancy in velocity. The fastball averages almost 96 miles per hour, but he can occasionally run it up to 99, while the fork sits in the low to mid-80s and the curve is thrown in the mid-70s. So if you're sitting off speed, you have to figure out if it's the high spin rate curve or the low spin rate fork, and there's pretty much no way you can catch up to the heater. He did just lose his first career game the other day, but everything about Shinpeita Yamashita points to him being one of the best pitchers in the country for years to come. He's got a big frame at 6'2", he has some swagger, and the Buffaloes have really cleaned up his mechanics in just a few years since he graduated high school. He just looks the part. 
So even when Yoshinobu Yamamoto leaves for MLB after this season, Oryx probably won't miss a beat because they've got the Pacific League Rookie of the Year frontrunner poised to take over as the true ace. Special thanks to my patrons. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more MPB content in English.